Hey guys, how y'all doing today? My name is Franchise Fanatic, and welcome back to the channel. And today, if you guys, is a another. There we go. I was kind of off on that, but another Star Wars Battlefront 2 video, uh, talking about a new Clone Wars uh, episode. Today, we're tackling the uh, part two out of part four for the Siege of Mandalore, which is going to be called the Phantom Apprentice. Um, kind of a rip on the Phantom Menace, I guess. Um, I really enjoyed this episode. I think everyone... I, I don't know. Everyone's saying that it's like the best thing that Star Wars has ever done. I don't think that's true. But, at the same time, it's like... It's still really well made and good. You know what I mean? I don't know how to... I don't have any issues with it, but it's just not on par with what... I don't know. The live action stuff has done. You get me? I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. But... With that being said, I think that this is still a great episode. You have... A, so really, the whole episode is Ahsoka Tano uh, fighting Darth Maul. That's basically it. You have some other stuff with... Um, some interesting stuff with some overlap, you know. Now that we actually have, like... Boom! I forgot he had that. Uh, especially now that... Uh, it's kind of... I don't know how to word it, but it's really cool that now when you watch episode 3... Oh, wait. Stupid. When you watch episode 3, Revenge of the Sith... I got Tiggy and Gorshin. Now you go, okay, well, there's, uh, when, when, when Obi-Wan Kenobi's fighting General Grievous on Utapo, um, Ahsoka is fighting Maul. And while Anakin's doing what, you know, what have you, whatever, um, Ahsoka's fighting Maul, you know what I mean? So it's kind of cool that when you're watching the live-action movie, the animated show is overlapping. We don't really see that too much with Resistance and Rebels and Clone Wars, but now that, you know, we've seen the bridge tie, but now we've seen actual, you know, real evidence of, of uh, you know, stuff actually intertwining and uh, mixing together, which is freaking awesome. Truly. I really like that. Uh, so going forward with that, again, they just kind of have some awesome fight scene. Um, if it's one thing that the animated canon content like Clone Wars and Rebels, not so much Resistance, um, does best is choreography between the lightsaber fights. Because when you have live action, you can have excellent choreography, but... You know, like that scene in, I think it was season 5, when Darth Maul and Savage are, I think Savage, oppressed, were fighting uh, Sidious, and they're doing all these weird, you know, flips and shit. I mean, it looks crazy. You know, I mean, you can't do that live action, because it's just not, limbs don't work that way, you know what I mean? So it's really cool that they actually have that in there where it's it's a lot more uh, animated, so to speak. Um, and, you know, it's an animated show, no, 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 no crap. Um, I'm gonna die. <gasps> but at the same time, in the game, I mean. At the same time, who should I be? I'll be, uh... Mm, I'll be a normal stormtrooper, how about that? Be a solid guy. I think it is really different and cool to see these, de these action scenes, and this is one of the better action scenes in the Clone Wars canon, for sure. Um, I really, really enjoyed it, I think it was kind of cool. Now, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but this, I believe, again, I believe, was the first episode ever to actually... Uh-oh. Mowed him down like a lawnmower. Uh oh. The first episode in the Clone Wars to uh, Jesus Christ to actually have um, like kind of like mocap, like you know how they did like Tintin and all that. Uh, so you had like Ray Park, who was actually playing Darth Maul, the stunt guy, and the voice and everything in Episode One, The Phantom Menace. You guys know that. Um, and he was also doing the stunt work for this episode, The Phantom Apprentice, which is freaking awesome. Um, and then of course you have Sam with or whatever that guy. Um, do the, the voice, you know, from all. Um, and that was just effing cool, you know, the, the fight seems really awesome, I mean, like, slashes back and forth, and it just, it looks different, and it looks really awesome. Um, I can't, I'm dead, I cannot wait to see where they go with it, uh, especially now that Darth Maul is captured and all that. You know, how is this gonna work? Are we gonna have, uh, cause, think about it, we know how Ahsoka, Ahsoka doesn't die, but we know how her story kind of ends, and, and Rebels, and Mandalorian Season 3, and all that stuff going on. Um, and we also know what happens to Darth Maul. He dies on Rebels, in the Twin Suns episode. So, we know all this stuff happens, but I think it's really cool to actually get to that part of, you know, that lore, where it actually happens. You know? Because we were like, okay, yeah, we know how it all ends. We know how the Skywalker Saga ends. We've all seen Episode Nine. But, to get to that point, I think is really cool. And that's what the Clone Wars, Resistance, and Rebels, the Mandalorian, that's what those, these shows are, are great at. Uh, you know, bridging that gap between two things. And I think that this episode is, does a great job as well. Again, there's not too much to this episode. Like I said, it basically is just a big fight scene. Um, it looks great. 
there's a few shots in there that look really damn cool. Other than that, it's it's just it's another episode of Clone Wars, um, but it stands out because of this awesome fight scene and the stuff that they do uh, in the episode for sure. So I'm gonna give it a 10. Of course, this is another great episode. Um, I love that it's overlapping between. Have been I killed that guy? I love that it's overlapping between these episodes and movies. Um, and it's cool because gee, what the fudge? It's really cool to know they're everywhere. That while the live action content is happening, you have the animated content happening at the same time in different locations. It's really, really cool to see that kind of stuff. Boba Fett. I just recently posted my uh, Lego Boba Fett head model. You guys want to check that out? It's long past time I was called. I really hope this guy's not doing the voice in Lego Star Wars. It's, it, it's shit. Anyway, <laughs> we'll have to see where this goes. Again, I am freaking in love with the uh, Clone Wars I've always been. I love Rebels. I love Resistance 2. I am Mandalore. I love them all. I love everything Star Wars. You guys know me. I have no hate for Star Wars ever. Uh, no biatching. All positive stuff here. Um, and I really enjoyed this episode. Like I said, I can't wait to see what happens with Maul. Uh, and Maul somehow knows that, uh, you know, what's his butt? Uh, Anakin. What's his, yeah, what's his, Anakin is actually going to be uh, Darth Vader and Sidious is going to ride. So he has a vision. He's looking for Anakin. I think that's pretty cool. Um, but it still will be awesome to know where this heads. So again, 10 out of 10. I'm going to end it here. The match is over. Six and a half minutes. Uh, just about the same time. I love this episode. I love the fight scene. I love the action. I love, you know, um, everything, really. You know, this is a great a great thing. So anyway, guys, uh, I can't wait. Uh, cannot wait for episode three, part three out of four of this Siege of Mandalore. And then that'll be it. It all ends on Star Wars Day. Thank you, guys, and we'll see you in the next video. May the Force be with you.